That's hard. Hey guys, so got a review here for you for Moonlight. Now this is a movie that I honestly had no idea really existed. I didn't even read up on it before I went and saw it. A friend of mine suggested it to me. I went and saw it with him and in short, it's basically boyhood, but about an African-American boy, and it's shorter, and it means more. Now, I got no gripes really against boyhood. I thought boyhood was a very ambitious project, an interesting idea. The only thing is, nothing really happens in my opinion. Like, sure, Patricia Carquette's character was really good in it, but the main point of the story, just, I don't know, it's like, okay, we're watching a real life, alright? Moonlight is about an African-American boy nicknamed Little, and it, chron it basically chronicles his life through youth, teenagehood, and then adulthood. And I like this film for several reasons. One, it really shows the, it really, get, you know, when films talk about the hardships of living in Florida and well, low welfare in a drug environment and in just basically a rundown neighborhood. This film took it, but didn't really, I, what I thought is that instead of showing it, with visuals of the area, it showed it with the characters. This was mainly shown between Little and his mother, played by Naomi Harris, who did a phenomenal job as his mother. Just this character who is addicted to drugs and is kind of the manipulator of his life and is this, basically this, this not this hold, this anchor, but is something that is rooted in his life and is making an effect on him. We also have the guy, the black guy from House of Cards in here, and I, when I saw him, I was like, oh yeah, he's in this movie. He's not a main character, but he is a person who kind of is an influence on Little's life. Oddly enough, considering his character, who he is and what he does, he is a positive effect, sort of, on Little's life. As we progress through the years, we see him have these questions about his own sexuality, about who he is, and his choices in life. And this, every time something came up, it was always a hard part, it was always a very soul-crushing, if you will, sort of scenario, and it hurt, but it was so good to watch. I was into this movie, like, admittedly, at the first, tw maybe within the first 20 minutes, you're going to be sitting there going, why am I watching this? And then it's going to be like, oh. And then every moment that passes on, all these oh moments, you're going to slowly get more and more invested in these characters. And throughout the film, I'll admit, the soundtrack was phenomenal. It had a great mix of this classical music set with all these classic blues tunes and I thought that was an interesting choice considering the the subject matter to use classical music sort of the origin of music and this the origin of this boy's journey through figuring out who he is and that's the biggest part about this film is it's about figuring out who he is to not only other people but to himself and I like this film it was a great film of self-discovery going through all the hardships of life and all kind of a reflection on African-American communities and homosexual communities and I really did enjoy this film admittedly I don't know if I could watch it again in a while because it is a bit hard it reminds me about a bit of last year's Beasts of No Nation not in the sense of its uh, content but in the sense of that hard soul-wrenching sort of experience and you need a little bit of time to come back from that but otherwise i did enjoy moonlight sure the beginning was a little slow there were some camera choices that i thought were a little odd and admittedly i thought that the guy with the focus finder was a bit off his job on sometimes and he the director tried to follow a lot of the work of the director of creed and fruitville station with lots of long continuous shots and i have a f just in my opinion i think it wasn't done as well there are times where the camera's going around these characters and then he tries to kind of do this interloop and the camera just takes this really weird bend back left and then back on characters now you know what i bet this film didn't have like the most supreme of budget and the thing with doing long continuous takes is that you have very few, you're, you have a limited amount of chances to do it. 
So I give this film credit for doing those though, because I appreciate those types of scenes. I appreciate that type of commitment to these films. So in the end, I'm gonna give Moonlight a six out of seven. It was really good. I enjoyed it. I'm gonna give it that one less just because of the same reason I did that for Beasts of No Nations is really heart-wrenching. It's a dark film. It's gonna get to you on the feels level, but at the end, I actually felt bit, I, I felt happier at the end of this film than I did at the end of Beasts of No Nations. So anyway guys, that's all for me. Hope you enjoyed this review. Check it out. You probably won't get a lot of time to see it um, because it's, I don't know, it's very limited. But anyways, that's all for me. See you guys later.